Welcome, Bike Man, for you with a brand new bottom brackets for you. Come on in here, let me show you what's going on. We got a Conan, Cannon, Conan, Cannondale R300. And uh, it came in for a tune up, clean up, and uh, we did it. And uh, I kept having problems, problems, problems adjusting this front derailleur here. And he had brought it in and said, you know, I got a little problem with the front derailleur. Oh, okay, yeah, sure, no problem, man. We'll be able to take care of it. Let me check it out. You know, it was all gooked up. and So now it's getting done, right? And I'm trying, Mike. I couldn't, for the life of me, get the derailleur to drop down into the third cog down here. Okay? It's a triple here. One, two, three. And I'm scratching my head, and I'm scratching my, yeah, and, and I'm scratching that, and the uh, yeah, and I'm like, what's going on? It just wouldn't go. The derailleur was literally hitting the frame. I'm going to have to come in here again. Let me get rid of this for a second. I don't need that. Here's the derailleur, and then it's hitting right here, Bubba. Right there. So when I go down, it just hits the frame, and it doesn't, not quite enough to go in. So we tried up the head, we tried, the, we tried every trick in the book, it wouldn't go. So now we go back to rule number two. The customer is always right, and he is right, there is a problem, it just doesn't work. Let's check it out a little bit. So we're pedaling it along, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here, alright? Alright, so, we're cooking along here, right here like this, we're in, you know, first, second, third in here, and we need to get from the middle cog to the small cog, all right? And we try, and all it does is rub, rub, rub. It's trying real hard to get it, but it just, and I can't get the throw to go anymore. Both of my screws are totally out right now to facilitate this video. So I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm, I finally came up with it. He came in once to check on his bike, and I said, what's going on? He says, oh, well, I changed it. It used to be a double, and then I made it into a triple, and it never worked right, quite right after that. I'm like, ding. Problem solved. We have to go back to square number one. Why didn't he tell me that when he brought it in? Under further examination, here we go. We can see, now I've loosened all of this up so that I could take it off. That's not how it comes off in real life, all right? <laughs> if you need to see that, we have a video on that. He's got two black spacers here, back to back, to try to jerk the whole shooting match, the whole crank, over more so that this derailleur can, still didn't work though. Even with his two little spacers in here. All right. Not a big deal. He needs a little bit longer bottom bracket. This spindle here. I'm going to try to take all of the guesswork. This might be... This series of videos is going to go on and on and on and on and on. Um, the... Whoops. Wrong one. The... Bottom brackets are mysterious in their own little way for everybody. I took out the other side. We'll get into that in a minute. I just want you guys to understand the principles of what's going on here. This is a, what the heck is this thing? A, uh, this is a BBT-22 by Park. Fits right into here. Nice tool. We can use a big crescent wrench or whatever, or we can use our 3 8 inch drive socket set on this. Uh, very nicely made, heavy duty, works great. This is your bottom bracket. There it is. A and B. Consists of this. Cartridge. This goes on to here. And that fits into there. Everybody alright? Is that you get that alright there, son of a? Alright? And they're trying to jerk that out. Okay. Now, next. Numero uno. There are basically two different sizes of shell sizes. What are they talking about with shell sizes? Shell size and spindle length. Those are the two things. Shell size, 68 and 73, I think. <laughs> Here we go. This is the shell width. If you don't have one of these plastic calipers, you should. 
get over here in the light so I can see it. 60, 0 is on the, on the, on the 2 from 70, so that's 60 plus 8 is 68. That is the width of the shell. Boom. We sell six different spindle lengths for a 68 shell size. Come on around here. Look at all these cute little guys all lined up. <laughs> They're like little soldiers. They're like, oh, I'm going to do battle with you. No, never mind. <laughs> Going up the ladder, we have a 103, a 107, a 113, a 118, a 122, and a 127. Get down there good so that way you can really see the graduation. We have our old program, right? Now, he was trying to increase his by this much, and it did, wasn't cutting it. So that was like 5, so 10. Well, all right. The old one was spindle length now. See where I'm going here? Did I tell you that this plastic caliper is available on our site? Uh... If you're doing it, this is a cheapo, I shouldn't say cheapo, inexpensive, I should say, caliper. It works great. It, uh, kind of a must-have tool. For the amount of money that you spend on the thing, it's great measurement for just like we're doing. All right, back at you. Here we go. Spindle length on this is 113. So that one and that one line up to the same length. Should we go to a 118? That would be five millimeters more. Let's see what a 118 is going to do for our bike. Now, this is going on a multiple, we're making this bicycle into mo speeds, right? This can also go in the reverse way if you're doing a fixed gear or a single speed bike to pull the crank in. You get where I'm getting at, guys? The key is that when you do put the crank on there, that it doesn't, all right, I'm not going to put the other side in. I'm just guessing and testing at this moment, okay? Push it on good. I could put the nut in there, but this is just a general idea of where we're going here. The crank is not hitting on anywhere. We've jer jerked it out a little bit. Oh, I think we're going to have to go to the next one. See how she's not quite making it. Let's go to the other one. The one, what's the next one? 120. If this is one. The original one was what? What the heck? One thirteen. The original one was one thirteen, and this one here is a one eighteen. Yes. So we're gonna go one more up to a one twenty two. Uno double deuce. <laughs> to double deuce, baby. That number is very dear to our heart. Isn't it, son of a... I guess. The double deuce. That was son of a... Number on his lacrosse jersey. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Push that on good. Going along good, we're in the back, we're going to come down. Oh, it goes like a charm. In fact, it even fell off. That's great, because now we can adjust our stop so that it doesn't go as far. It's going too far now. That's perfect. It didn't quite... Oh, perfect, man. That's good. 
Here's my dad. <laughs> Anybody watching Barbecue Web, there's these guys that do the barbecue. And they're always giving you the thumbs up. Like, That's good. Is what they'd say. It's funny. Check it out. Mm, hey. <laughs> good. All right. So this is going to work. You guys are understanding. I hope I didn't get too long-winded there. I hope I'm starting to communicate the bottom bracket. The understanding. What's going on? There's another show with a 73. We'll worry about that when we get it. We're going to be coming at you with a lot of bottom bracket. I hope you guys aren't bored. Never fear. Bike Man for you is here. <laughs>